This is a small based quad cane. Usually they're twice as large. It gives quite a bit more support than a regular straight cane. The technique for using the quad cane is identical to using the walker. That is, it's a stop and go technique. So we place the cane, the foot, the other foot. The cane, the foot, the other foot. In order for this to give good support, it has to be positioned correctly. You don't want the cane to be way out in front of the foot. And that ties into the reason why we hold the cane on the opposite side of the problem which is the rule. The cane is held on the opposite side of the problem because when you walk, you switch your weight from one leg to the other. You're temporarily standing on one leg, then the other leg, and one leg, then the other leg. Now, if I have a very weak leg and I put it forward, what is that leg doing while the other one is coming through the air? It's standing all by itself. So if you put the cane out right across from the weak leg, it forms a bridge between the weak leg and the cane. That way you get support. That way the weak side doesn't have to hold up the other side of your body because you have that bridge. So we use this cane by positioning it right across from the front, right across from the main part of the opposite foot, never in front like this. So it's the cane, the right, the left, the cane, the right, the left. You don't want to have a swinging motion with this cane. You just want it to be placed down. You want to tell the patient, keep the wrist near your hip. Obviously, this cane is too short for me. It should be adjusted up to about here. But that's the idea. Cane, right, left. The turning technique with this cane is also important like it is with the walker. You don't want the person to just hold the cane and turn around without getting support. So for the correct turning technique, you say, think of a circle going around your body. Then we put the cane on the circle, step, step, cane on the circle, step, step, cane, step, step, going the opposite way cane on the circle, step, step, cane, step, step, cane, step, step. That's the quad cane. The important things to remember about the quad cane are, one, hold the cane on the side opposite the problem leg. Two, keep the base of the cane across from the problem leg, not ahead of it. Three, Place all four legs flat on the floor. Four, bring the good leg even with the problem leg, not past it. Five, don't carry the cane when turning.